Hi guys, Amber here with Bibbly Buffet's Dog Training, and we're going to talk about the topic of biting. And biting is a natural thing for puppies to do, and typically they do outgrow it. Um, however, I do know that puppies have needle teeth, and it can be um, hard and stressful if you have bite marks all over. Now, if you have a dog that you're going to be doing bite work in the, in the future, or you're doing some sort of sports, um, we want to make sure that we're not being too critical about um, their drive for biting, but because we want to be able to have a good play, but we also want to have some good boundaries. And so one of the very first things that I do with um, dogs who like to bite is do kind of what the mom would do. So in the beginning, um, if the puppy bites me, I could literally say, ow, really loud and take my hand away and, and ignore the puppy. Um, if the puppy came back and was um, like, it came and licked me instead, then maybe I would give a cookie or just let her know that um, that was a good behavior. But um, oftentimes just ignoring is not going to solve the problem. Um, so, and you might be able to say, ow, several times, but then the puppy might not care in the future. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can trade them for a toy. Um, and so if they bite you, instead of them biting you, you give them a toy. Um, for Saya, she will like the toy for like five seconds and then come back to me. So this hasn't been successful for Saya, but it can work for some dogs to redirect. The whole concept of biting is to be able to redirect their focus on something else. Um, okay, the other nice thing that you can do is have a water bottle. You can take the water bottle on a mist spray, not like, or not a mist spray, you want on a jet spray. If it's a mist spray, the dog will likely like it because it's a mist of, of water. Um, you want a jet spray. And what you want to do is be able to target it right at the dog's face. And the great thing about water is that it doesn't hurt the dog. Um, but what, again, it's supposed to do is kind of redirect them and to stop the behavior that they're doing in the moment. Um, my word for biting is no bite. Um, you can have whatever word you want, but you want to have a word for it. Okay, so water bottle can be nice. The other nice thing, um, and again, these are all just tools. The other nice thing is something called a pet corrector. And this, um, what this does is this makes a shh noise, and it also is forced air. So it's like keyboard spray when you're cleaning your keyboard. Um, what you could do with this is if the dog was biting you, you could um, simply put this not close to the dog's face, but face, but further away, and you could spray and say no bite. Again, that's a redirective, um, and all we are trying to do is re-break their focus, okay? Um, the other thing that um, people do, there's a couple of options that start to get a little bit more firm. Um, if I had a leash on my puppy, if I knew when my puppy was in a, a biting mode, I would put my leash on my puppy, and I would use my leash and pressure as guide to not bite. So if she were to bite me, I would have leash pressure and give her a correction this way, pressure this, and then say no bite. Um, that can work and it may not work. Um, the other thing that mothers do, um, if she were to bite the mom, the mom would probably bite back to give her a warning. It might be a nip. Um, what you could do is take the scruff in the back, not down here, not the head, but right in the neck. There's a lot of fatty tissue. You can have the scruff. You grab the scruff, you pull the puppy up a little bit, scruff, and then no bite. Okay. Now again, um, that's a little bit more firm, but you want to be able to figure out what um, what level your puppy is at. The other level that I work on, um, this is an old um, thing that vets used to do, is if my puppy was biting my hand, I would take my thumb and I would, I'll see if she'll let me do it. I would take my thumb and I would just put it in the, in the middle of the tongue. I'm not going to do anything now because she's not biting me, but I would put it in the middle of the tongue and I would press down. What this does is give a discomfort to the dog, um, and it lets the dog know that what you just, their biting behavior was not what you wanted. So it would go in the mouth and then press down. These things can work, but the biggest thing that you have to do is work on consistency. If your puppy, um, if you don't like correct the behavior every single time, that's not going to be helpful for your puppy. Your puppy needs to know that every time it bites you, you're going to do something about it. So if you do you know, three out of five times you correct it, well that two other times, he, he or she is going to think, oh well mom or dad may not correct me. So you wanna make sure that you're correcting the behavior each and every time. If your dog comes back at you, so let's say um, you put the thumb in the mouth and you press down, if you did this, you know, five to 10 repetitions and the puppy kept coming back and doing it, that tells you that that correction isn't working, so you have to try something else. So these are all just tools, right? So 
this is something that puppies usually grow out of, but you may have to find a different tool or the tool might work for a couple weeks and then you have to try something differently. Um, but the biggest thing that I can say is you have to be firm and consistent. So for me, I'm usually no bite and I'm very firm about it because I want them to understand that was a behavior I didn't like. Okay? All right, if none of these things work, we can talk separately on some other options. All right? Good luck, guys.